it is definitely an interesting day. It is definitely the day that the Lord have made. And so we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I mean, folks are glad. I mean, folks are glad. I mean, people are glad in their spirit. I mean, people are rejoicing in their spirit. I mean, people know that right now that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And so we definitely give his name praise. We give it honor. We give it glory. I do Shabako. And even now, Father God, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for renewed mercy. We thank you right now, Father God, for your special name among men. We thank you right now, Father God, that demons are trembling. We thank you right now, Father God, that even though, Father God, this outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. We thank you right now, Father God, because is in you is life. In you is power. In you is glory. In you is the anointing. So, so we give your name praise. We give your name the glory that is due to it. We ask for forgiveness of sins. We ask, Father God, you continue to bless us and keep us in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee. And we do it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to show you something that was showed to me the other night in the word of God that freaked me. And Genesis chapter 22. The story of uh, glory to God, Abraham and his son Isaac. Uh, Genesis chapter 22 and around verse number one, it says, And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham. Tempt meaning test. And he said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac. Hmm. Now, Abraham already had a son named Ishmael. But God said to him, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac. Isaac is the only begotten son. The son of promise. Excuse me. <laughs> That's why he said your only son. The son of promise. Take the son of promise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I want you to do something with him. Abraham is representing a type of God. Isaac is representing the type of Christ. That's why he says, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac. Can I keep showing you something? Whom thou lovest, and get thee in the land of Moriah. Offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Mm. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and sat up his ass, and took of his two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clayed the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went unto the place which God had told him. Abraham is getting ready to do exactly what God told him to do. And that is to offer up his only son. Only begotten son. Only son, Isaac. What are you willing to keep away from God? Yeah, some of the time we can say, God, you can have my anger. You can have, glory to God, perhaps um, my covetousness. Lord God, you can have my, my thief, my, my stiller. But Lord, please don't take away my um, fornication. Don't take away my adultery. Don't take away the... <laughs> you feel me? What are you uh, trying to keep away from God? God, I, I give up all kind of things for you. Except my career, Lord God. Please don't. I'm just trying to... I, I give up. I do a lot of things for you, Lord God. But I cannot move out of state. I just can't do it. What are you keeping away from God? He says... Abraham offered up your only son Isaac that you love. Now watch this now. And then, watch this now. This is the, uh, Genesis now, 22 and 4. And then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place of all. The third day. Hmm, Jesus rose on the third day. But let, let me go deeper. And Abraham said unto this young man, Abide ye here with the ass. And I and a lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. He said he... And the lad, he and Isaac, is getting ready to go to this mountain and worship. But we're going to come again to you. Because as long as you're worshiping, you'll be back again. Shabu kola baha. Now, um, some people uh, will, will say, well, Abraham didn't want the young man to know what he's getting ready to do. But according to the Bible, there's a reason why Abraham is saying that he and the lad is going there to worship. And they're going to come again. Shabbat. Because 
in the name of Jesus, you're going to see from New Testament scriptures that Abraham believed that if God, since God is telling him to offer up his only son Isaac, then he knew God had the ability to raise up Isaac. Ado Shakoba. Again, from the grave for him. But let me show you something. Jesus. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. And Abraham took the wood and the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his, his son, and took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham, his father, and said, Father, my father? He said, Here am I, my son. He said, Behold, the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Isaac said, I see the fire. I said, Where is the lamb for this burnt offering? <laughs> uh, but let me show you something and Abraham said my son God will provide himself stop right there you should underline that God will provide himself Isaac asked where is the lamb for the burnt offering and Abraham said God will provide himself Shabbat another word of prophecy Another word of wisdom. But let me show you something in Jesus' name. Let's go deeper. God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Now watch this now. And they came to the place where God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there. And laid the wood on the altar. And bound Isaac his son. And laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand. And took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven. And said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here am I. I and he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thy any, do do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. Lord God help us get to this point we don't the where we don't put nothing before you to where we in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that's nothing we're not willing to give up. Now watch this. And Abraham, watch this. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Watch this. So Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it said to this day, in the mount the Lord it shall it, it shall be seen. Now watch this. Now a lot of people take Jehovah Jireh and they take it to what God is going to pay my bills. God's going, but it's much more than that, you know, because. Well, Abraham was getting off of his son, but let the Lord gave the substitute of the ram. Shabokoba. But I want you to see something even deeper. Go me back in, in Jesus' name to verse 8 of Genesis 22 and 8. I'm going to show you something. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. God will provide himself a lamb for a born offering. Now, go me real quick back to Genesis 22 and verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. So God didn't give a lamb, but God gave a ram. <laughs> so what is Abraham talking about, this lamb? <laughs> because when when, when the substitute that God gave was the ram. So where is this lamb that Abraham is talking about? Well, go with me to St. John chapter 1. Let, let's see exactly what. Yeah, let's see exactly what now. John is talking about, I mean, Abraham is talking about, excuse me. The book of St. John mm -hmm. chapter 1. And I'm going to read at verse 29. Watch what the Bible says. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. That go to, that go to, that go to Lamb that Abraham was talking about. He's talking about Jesus. <laughs> My God in here. Hallelujah. Somebody don't believe that. They say, no, 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 no. That, that can't be true. Abraham foreseen it. In the name of Jesus. And that go the ram. Excuse me. That go the lamb that Abraham was talking about in Jesus' name. 
not God.